Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to take photos of your work and save them as a PDF file. Okay, now this is only useful on an iPhone. I don't know how it would work on an Android phone. You'd probably need a scanning type of app. The you do you can use a scanning type of app on the iPhone, but you can also use the Notes app. So I'm going to click on the top here, my Notes app and I'm going to go to the bottom right. There's a square box with a pencil in it. I'm gonna click on that, that means new note. All right, and then I'm gonna click on the camera button and start taking pictures. Now, at this point, I click scan documents because scanning is what you wanna do when you want that PDF file. Okay, so I'm gonna find my piece of paper here and it's really best to put it against a dark background. So I'm gonna take the picture all right, now notice that my, I've got my um, grid lines and I can keep the scan just like that. And it saves just the part that is the notebook paper. And that's because I'm putting it against a, back, uh, a dark black background that that works really well. All right, so now let's say that I take this picture, but I decide it's very blurry. So I can retake it and I'm going to get it just right. Click the white camera button and notice that it makes the paper bright white and it tries to make your handwriting a little bit darker than it normally would be. Notice I've got some scratch outs here where I've messed up on my writing. That's fine. Just uh, don't even waste time when you're taking the exam with erasing. Just scratch through it and the readers will understand that. So now I'm going to click save on the bottom right and showing that there are three sheets of paper. And notice how it just makes everything look so much nicer. It makes the handwriting look neater somehow. And then the black and white contrast is good. So I'm gonna click the done button at the top. And then I'm gonna click this square box with the up arrow. And I want to save to my Google Drive. So let's click on that uh, triangle, blue, green, yellow drive. And this takes a second, that part. Now make sure you're choosing the right Google account, I'm gonna click select folder and I'm not gonna put it in a specific folder. I'm just gonna click my drive because I don't wanna waste time on folders. I'm gonna click save here and upload. The blue at the top, upload. All right, now notice it's calling it AP number, well, parentheses two, three, four. It's come up with a name for it and it's actually based on what it sees at the top of the paper. So you see how it, I've written AP number one, two, three, four, and it read that as the title. So there we go, now it's in my Google Drive. Now I'm done with my Notes app, and I can find this in Google Drive, so let's go just make sure. So here's my Google Drive app on my phone, and there it is, it's at the top. If you don't see it right away, do the click on the three lines and look at Recent, because obviously we recently put that in there. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna look at it and there, sure enough, are those three pages. Now this is a PDF file, so it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be read like a text file would be, all right? So when you go to upload into the AP exam, the college board, you're gonna click submit as text file, okay? so. Hi everybody, so now I'm over here at the College Board submission and wow, I've got four minutes left to submit my response. Now, I just took those pictures and saved them as a PDF file into my Google Drive. So I'm going to go here and you can click on this that says Review Submission fi uh, Guidelines and I'm going to do this one which is called Attaching a Text File. I know that it's a photo, but I'm going to do the Attach a Text File and that's because it is a PDF um, file type. So I'm going to click uh, let's see, attach response, attach text file. So that's already right there. I'm going to make sure that is clicked. And then down here, I'm going to click browse for file. And I can get rid of this. All right, now I don't have it in here. So notice I have to save it from my Google Drive. This is where I originally stored it when I was on my phone. This is the file that I took the picture of, but I've got to download it. So go to the download button and I'm just gonna save it in my downloads. 
All right, so it's in my download file folder. That's where it just naturally go, or that's the default where it goes. So now I'm going to click Browse for File. And it's in my, it brings up my downloads folder. All right, if it did not bring that folder up, I would need to make sure I go to the downloads folder. And it's this document right here, AP number, well, one, two, three, four. Click open. And I think that's it. So look at that. It's right there, my attachment, AP number, um, one, two, three, four. I know that's a parentheses, but one, two, three, four. And that's the one. If I want to double check it, I can open that file and look and make sure that's the one I'm submitting. And there it is, okay? So notice again, um, the work is neat enough for them to read. I didn't bother with erasing. I just scratched through some things. Okay, and I'm gonna hit submit. And that's it, okay?